Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to talk about audio and how cheap you can create professional level audio without showing any kind of professional big stuff hardware on your stereo uh, home cinema audio solution. In this video, I'd like to focus on one product, but this is not just about one product, but in general product family. This device is a six centimeter to six centimeter square. While I talk about it, you'll see my installation video around the screen somewhere. And it took about uh, two to five minutes. I don't exactly remember, but you'll be seeing how I screwed it. And so it's quite small. What do we have with this device? We have two TPA 3116 chipsets and each of them delivering for each channel 100 watt RMS. And it's working 12 volts to 24 volts. So we can connect any kind of passive speakers that needs amplifier. What I mean by that, you can use your old speaker setup from your old music sets, and laying around the house, getting the dust, you can clean them and make them Bluetooth receiver and Bluetooth speakers. And you'll get amazing sound, believe me when I say so, at the end of the video, you'll be hearing the actual quality of the audio. So what we have with this device, Bluetooth 5.0, 3.5 millimeter jack, USB input 4 playing directly from USB drive and at the back uh, for, let me just check, we had one of those devices with the Type-C port 2 uh, in the earlier, that's why I look at it. So there are Type-C versions out there that you can connect your PC from the Type-C and it just works, but it doesn't deliver 100 watts, but smaller watts because of the power input that you put in but also you can use them like a sound card if your PC's sound card is broken, so you have some sort of need of audio uh, export uh, slot or audio card. So we have a couple of solutions. So we, we can use this device like a sound bar connected to TV, connected to smart dongles with, that we have for our projectors, so we can match our sound quality to our visual quality. But let me show you one other thing. Right now, this is a Windows 11 PC and non-copyright music and it's Bluetooth connected 5.0 to my laptop and it's controlling the audio playback just like a Bluetooth uh, earbud. If you touch it, you play it. If you touch it again, you close it. So I can adjust the audio and I can also play and stop. So playing the movies and stopping the movies one thing but getting great audio from uh, 5.0 Bluetooth without a signal delay, that's the best thing that you can have. The cost of this device is roughly depending on the chipset, how much power output do you need, uh, with adapter, without adapter change much. But basically you are starting from $20 going from $50. And this device is around probably $25 to $30 range because it has two chipsets and to uh, 100 watt for each channel, 200 watts of RMS is a huge amount of power. Believe me, if you use professional system, you probably know this. So these two speakers are bookshelf speakers from Philips and they were for from an old uh, audio set, music set. So this these devices probably 60 watt each for six, six ohms, not eight ohm professional level speakers, big speakers. But one important thing I'd like to show you is, you can disappear this, make these things disappear. How? It's easy. You can make a 3M double-sided tape and put it behind any speaker you wanna control from. So you see any controller? Do you see anything? It's efficient and less cluttered just like a soundbar. But believe me when I say so, these uh, two speakers and this small amplifier could beat the shit out of any soundbar, if you ask me. If you, of course, pay a couple of thousand dollars, then you might have a big, huge subwoofer and some sort of technologies like Adobe Atmos and uh, whatever the name that technology is, you can beat this thing, but let's just be clear. The cost of the speakers in the second hand was about 50 to $60 for me. Let's just say $70 and $30 to this amplifier. It makes it $100. For $100, I've created uh, 120 watts of power, but the 
treble sound is so clear. I use these speakers also with my kind of professional for a small size tube amplifier. So I don't recommend tube amplifier in this video because you cannot make these things disappear. These have cases, tubes, and they are fragile. You can break, and I've broken a couple of uh, bulbs, but the audio from these devices are much better than also smaller devices like this. You have better clearance, better treble, and better acoustic for instrumental music. But it, depending on your choice and your budget, these are probably two or three times higher from the starting point. And from the end point, you can spend thousands of dollars like any professional audio or video solution. So I made my case clear. You can create the best audio solution in the cheapest way. And also you can make the amplifier disappear. What more could you want? Let's just listen the samples in the end of the video. And don't forget to subscribe and like this sort of educational videos because I'd like to create an educational, uh, informative, like a home cinema academy kind of style and teach you the basics and how you can create the best visual quality, best audio quality, as budget as it can be. Because if you spend thousands of dollars, you can definitely create a good audio, good isolation, good picture quality. But if you have a budget, why not create the best out of it? I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. I'll drop some links, but I'm not affiliated. I'm not sponsored in this video. I'd like to drop some links around so you can look and find your audio solutions for yourself. But before the end of the video, let me just remind you, you'll be listening from two Philips speakers, which the qualities are quite good. Your speaker might not be good as these, and even if you buy the same amplifier, you might not get the audio, same audio that I've created in this video. So don't forget about this. The clearance depending also to your speakers. But you can turn any crappy speaker if they are built to create sound from like an old style uh, music set. You can definitely create good amount of audio for your solutions as cheap as possible. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. You can listen to this. In this part of the video, I am getting closer to the new mic. I have changed the microphone with the condenser cable microphone. And right now we place the microphone right in the middle of the speakers. And the microphone has the distance of 1.2 to 1.5 meter from the speakers. In this part of the video, we're going not going to be focusing on the total audio output, but the uh, audio quality. And you'll be hearing the acoustic quality as much as you can. Uh, let me just remind you, what I hear is way probably better than what you hear because the mic and the distance and stuff affects the audio quality. But this is as close as I can capture. Let's start the audio quality. Mm -hmm. 